What's going on, my PT peeps? I'm a Walking Dead family. Welcome to the PT channel. I'm One Eye Bry. You don't know if I'm winking or I'm blinking. And in this video, it's my video footage of Sonoy and outside of Alexandria. You can't get inside Alexandria, at least I couldn't. But ultimately, I got some good video of outside Alexandria around Sonoy. It was a cold, rainy day, and I wish the conditions were better for the video. But ultimately, guys, if you can, show us some love here at the PT channel by joining our Walking Dead family by hitting that subscribe button. And I'll give some narration throughout the video, but we parked our car and we're walking walking down Main Street in Sonoy. This is where season three of The Walking Dead was filmed, the town of Woodbury. It's actually Sonoy. Then you walk down the street towards the Sonoy Coffee and Cafe. And before you go to Sonoy Coffee, you see a shop here on the left. They have like antiques and things that they made. And I love the little flamingo here. I call my dad Flamingo Bob because he's got little bird legs and it's just a fun little nickname. And then you can see a gazebo right there. And then you see the Sonoy sign. It's very cool. And if you look across the way, you'll see the Sonoy sign. And then you see railroad tracks. If you go over the railroad tracks, you go to Alexandria. And it's pretty crazy that you go towards Alexandria. If I did a 180 and it was looking the other way, I would be looking right into Woodbury, the fictional town of Woodbury for season three of The Walking Dead. And sorry for the shakiness, I'm trying to walk here. And you'll see a couple spots get on the camera later on in the video. But overall, I think it's a pretty good clear shot. It was a rainy, cold day. And I have another video when I was in Sonoy. And if you look at this shot right there of the same video, that's where the watchtower was with the burnt buildings. Those are now gone and it's more of the outside border wall. There's a great shot of Alexandria we'll have in this video. So we kind of pan through it and you can see the border wall has expanded around. You can see the windmill, you can see the border wall has expanded out and you can see down the way. It's pretty cool. I'm excited to show it to you guys. And if you haven't had a chance to get to Sonoy, I definitely recommend it. The Jin property, that's what Alexandria is called by the Spoiling Dead fans. It's Jin Street and Baggerly Way. And that leads into, you know, we're filming trucks, cast and crew, and just they bring stuff in and out in that entrance there. And then you just look down the way and you'll see kind of the outside border of Alexandria. It's pretty awesome. I highly recommend getting to Alexandria if you can. And I know not everyone can. That's why I have this video that I'm sharing with you today. And right here, I have to point out this entrance is where Magna and her group were brought in. They use this side door instead of the other entrance that I'll show you in a little bit. And the piece of wood on the door right there is the Alexandria sign, I believe as well. They got one on this side door and also the front. The one on the side is also burned up, but the one on the front, we'll show you in a little bit, is actually clear. And if I pan down the street, like I show you here, the road right here, the sign, it'll come clear in a second, but it's called Pilant. If you go down that road, there's a couple other filming sites that I recommend if you get a chance to see there. There's two homes that have definitely been used in prior seasons of The Walking Dead. Also, you can take a tour by the Georgia Tour Company. They take you around and they have some great information. You can meet Sonoy Rick, Sonoy Governor, Sonoy Eugene, Sonoy Rosita. They're pretty awesome and they have a lot of great information about filming in prior seasons. Now, if you go the other way, instead of coming where the windmill was, you go left and there's a post office, but right there where you see the wood and the screens on top of the wood, that's where base camp is. So they'll have campers and trailers and this and a bunch of things there where the cast and crew are there. They cross the street to go film in Alexandria and it's pretty awesome. I've never seen anyone there in person but I've seen that. And here I'm just highlighting the walk from the Sonoya Coffee and Cafe down the street. And on the right hand side is Alexandria and also a post office. And if you take this walk all the way down, you get to the Alexandria front gate that we used to see in prior seasons when Rick and the group came down the street towards the main gate of Alexandria when Rick was running from the walkers back in season six, I believe. And there's just a lot of big moments down here. It's a little decent walk. It's not very far at all, but some people might not know about this. So if you go over the train tracks, the railroad tracks, you can go right or you can go left or you can go straight, I guess, whatever part you go over there. And you can go towards the windmill or you can go left towards this front entrance. And again, it's a little walk and we're walking slow. And I was here for Walker Stalker 2018 in Atlanta. I was with my wife and my father and you'll see them sporadically through the video but ultimately i love going to sonoy and if you can get a chance to get there guys and you love the walking dead go on the atlanta movie tours go on a tour by the georgia tour company or the walking dead studio tour 
This is not the tour. This is my actual video from October. The Walking Dead studio tour is brand new as of December 2018. I believe they got January, February, and March, and then we got to wait to see how that is. Also, right here used to be a house that had all these different tchotchkes, antiques, stuff for your yard, stuff here, that it's all gone. If you've been to Sonoy, remember this stuff here? It's pretty obvious that you have seen this. It's all cleared out. I don't know if someone bought this house or this business moved or what happened here, but there was all this stuff there. I wish I had a picture of it, but I don't. But I wanna know what happened in this house that's to the right of it, and then we're coming up on the street. It's actually Morgan Street. That's pretty crazy that the street that the main entrance of Alexandria is on is called Morgan Street. To the left is the Veranda Inn, briefly there. It's a bed and breakfast, I believe. I've never stayed there. But here you can see the road is closed for traffic, except for the people who live there. People do live in Alexandria. And if you look down the street, that's the front gate of Alexandria. The Main gate. Sometimes there's a truck by the tree on the right that's blocking the other house. You can see some of the security guards. I believe they were changing out the security guard when we were there. It's nobody of interest right there. But people do live in Alexandria. Not a lot of people, but people do live there. I got to talk to a couple people that live outside Alexandria and they do film. They put out notices that they're going to be doing filming from this and that you might hear some gunfire and amc and the walking dead let everyone know if there's going to be filming around there filming is done for season nine they'll be back for season 10 hopefully either late april early may and they film right before thanksgiving in november so late april to early mid november And that's where the front entrance was for the town of Woodbury in season three of The Walking Dead, Main Street, Sonoy. And here's the other side of Main Street in Sonoy. We came on the other side where the Sonoya Coffee and Cafe is, and here is where Nick and Norman's, the Woodbury shop is on this side of Main Street of Sonoy, and you can see Nick and Norman's, the sign right there. I've been to Nick and Norman's two times now, and the food's okay. It's a nice tourist location. The food's nothing great. It's a little pricey, but overall, if you're going to Sonoy, you definitely have to check it out, because Nick and Norman's is owned by, well, part owned. I think there's five owners. Greg Nicotero, is, who is an executive producer and director and part owner of KB FX. They make the walkers on the show. But there's Nick and Norman's, and I've been there a couple times, like I said. I want you to go there and get a burger or some meatloaf or this or that and get a t-shirt and a hat, and it's pretty cool to see that you can see some cast in there for sure. They have been there before. Some people have met Father Gabriel and Nick Otero and just a bunch of people. They've been in there several times. I got a picture when they were filming in April. Someone posted it on Facebook, and the whole cast is basically there. Well, a lot of the cast is there in the same booth that my wife, my father, and I got to sit in back in October. Pretty cool stuff. And as we're walking down the street, on the left-hand side is a dentist, an ice cream shop, and some other shops down there. But if you keep going down the street, you see the Woodbury shop. And I have a whole separate video about that that I'll have because we go inside the store, you can see some of the merchandise and the pricing and they have some props down on the bottom level. And it's pretty cool. It's a cool little thing. You don't have to buy anything there at all. We got some walking dead pennies and we kind of did that, but you can see the Woodbury shop to the left and then I'll pan to the right and you can see some of the street. And it's pretty cool that they filmed Season three of The Walking Dead right in here. And you can see some of the shops and like there, there's a cool shop right there across the street where the clock is. It's called Table Talk and it's a nice little shop. And if you can see it, if you pause it right there, you can see some filming spots. There's the Woodbury shop to the left and they have uh, the Waking Dead Cafe. And then there's a bicycle shop down that way. And it was kind of cool because it was around Halloween and they were giving out candy to all the little ones. And I was there for Walker Stalker Atlanta 2018 in October. And I helped this lady with the door. But then I came back out the Woodbury shop. And again, I'll have a whole another video about that. And across the street there is Table Talk. 
Then you go to the left and you see Waking Dead Cafe and a couple other things. And they got a lot of cool stuff. Sonoy is booming. They are expanding. They're doing a lot of cool stuff there. And that's my tour video of Sonoy. It was a rainy, crappy, cold day. If you can, hopefully go on a Walking Dead Studio tour. Let me know your thoughts about that. I plan to go next year. Hopefully we can get some time to do that. But I'm excited for everyone to check out the video and also get to Sonoy. Check out Alexandria. Check out Main Street. Check out all these things. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. And if you haven't already, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And help us achieve our goal of 100,000 subscribers. And remember, guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself. You can do it. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.